Hello everyone, this is my bold cypress or swamp cypress. Now it's been in this pot several years. Um, and it's actually grown through a CD, I don't know if you can see that in there. Um, it has grown some interesting roots above the CD. So what I'm thinking I want to do now is get it out of this pot uh, into something a little shallower and um, let it get those surface roots spreading out some more pull out the base of this tree um, so I just want it to be more colium than uh, is that a word? I don't know so I am going to take the top down a little um, I've been looking where I'm to cut. I originally cut it here um, for taper and the change of direction. And I'm thinking I might cut it here and just have this uh, or here, here actually, this little simple piece will be the new leader. Um, cut all these others back. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to, I'm actually going to try and leave both these pieces and um, that gives it two chances for a, a new top. If I'm not careful though, I'm going to take that one off. Ah. There, so that was a fairly straightforward operation. Now I'm just going to shorten back all the other branches. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to use any of these in the final design. Um, really, I'm unsure as to what this tree will be. I'm just trying to build the trunk and the roots at the moment. So, just cutting them all back. Not off, just back. Um, Lose that entirely because it's. I just didn't like the look of that one. Okay, so, yeah, that's reduced it considerably and um, will hopefully give it a bit more interesting movement. The rain is coming down heavier than I expected. So I'm going to pack this up and we will return to this later today if the rain subsides because it is actually coming down quite hard now for another day. So I'm deciding to do it now before I actually get into the roots. The weather forecast for the rest of the week isn't great so um, we shall see. Okay so actually that storm didn't last as long as I thought it was going to. And, um, the sun's come back out, so we will carry on. I'm going to try and get this thing out of the pot. There's quite a bit of weight to that. Uh, it's, um, it's cracked open the CD. Uh, so that, that'll never play again. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably like many other people of my generation. Um, bought a DVD rewriter to store data on. Um, and never, you know, loaded this to go with it. Never really used them thanks to the, the cloud and everything coming along. So. I found another use for that one. Okay, so uh, it has resulted in some uh, definite root flare. Um, so that's that's good. But I've also got a lot of long roots. 
that are going to make it difficult to get into a shallow pot underneath. Um, gosh. Give it up, a tree. Give it up. Okay, so. Well, that's interesting. Very interesting. The question is, how much of this can I cut away? How much can I keep without killing the tree? So, let's start. Sorry about this, I have a tractor in the field behind. One of the joys of living in the country. Um, yeah, so I'm surprised Cooper hasn't gone nuts because normally he's very much of the get off my land um, persuasion. Let's move the camera down. Okay, so we've got. Uh, the tree. Um, let's start by getting in here and uh, removing this one. And this one. Shortening that. So, we've got another deep, thick root here. Take that off. And another one just here. Um, Still leaves quite a bit of root. Let's see if I can't. This, this piece really could do with being got rid of. Um, so here we go. Use that one and that one. Uh, that's going to allow it to get into a reasonable, a reasonably shallow pot. Um, but I've still got this big old ugly knot here. Um, I think these secretaries will take that away. I think I'm going to leave it. I think. Trees need a lot of a lot of water, um, so it's not going to be ideal putting it into a particularly shallow pot. Anyway, could get my loppers um, try and take that off, but no, I think I'm going to leave it. Oh, indecision, indecision. No, I'm going to get my loppers. Okay. Here goes. Hmm, not quite as clean as I would have liked. Um, but it's gone. Okay, now get these into a pot. Okay, so I have my pot. I'm going to use uh, 
this seed tray again, or another one of these seed trays. Um, a bit more CD stuck in there. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to come out. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. So um, it kind of did its job. Uh, I have some interesting roots here. Um, one there, and a higher one at the back here. But um, I think this is going to be my my front so I'm going to lose a bit more of this this larger root here um, it's got quite a bit of feeder root on it so I didn't want to lose all of it but yeah that's better so if that's my Mm. Yeah, this is my preferred front. Uh, I do have a wider point there, but it gives me some interesting rootage. It hides the large scar at the back there and allows this to come off. So, um, yeah. I think that's going to be my front. All we need to do is backfill with the compost. And hopefully this tree will get its roots in and out and spreading out nicely to the sides of the pot. Um, pull in the base with it, give it a nice root flare and uh, give us an interesting nabari. It may even throw out some mo more roots at the soil level um, around the back of the tree. That's, well, that's something to hope for. That's never guaranteed. I'm still not sure how I'm going to get this tree at the moment. I'm just trying to build a trunk. Um, I've watched a few videos on YouTube featuring these bold cypress. Um, and I quite like the, the look of the flat top style that seems to be the most prevalent. Um, amongst those videos. So I may go for that. On the other hand, I may go for something sort of tall and tapering, uh, rather like a Dawn Redwood. I'm not sure. Um, but at the moment, as I say, this is about developing some, a good, powerful trunk if I can. Um, giving the roots room to spread out and uh, hopefully drag the bottom of the front with them. Seems a good way to start that process. As always I've got some slow release fertilizer in the bottom of the pot in the, in the first layer. Uh, and obviously I will feed the tree during the summer months as well, at least weekly, um, if not bi-weekly. And uh, hopefully that will give it a, you know, a good start and it will get away nicely. And we'll have lots of bushy growth. Having cut all this back, um, we'll encourage it back bud again um, and these trees do seem to back bud very nicely so so there we have it need a bit more soil uh, Give 
a good old gardener's tap. Okay, so I will give this tree a drink and um, that's it for the work on it for this spring. Um, and we'll re revisit it either back in the autumn um, or next spring. Thank you for watching and look after yourselves.